This problem is entirely about finding the bounds for evaluating this triple integral. D is a solid. It's a cylinder whose base is in the region between two circles, R equals cosine theta and R equals two cosine theta, and whose top lies in the plane Z equals three minus Y. We're supposed to set up an iterated triple integral that would evaluate this. Well, right away, I'm thinking that no matter what the integrand could or would be, that we need to write this as a dz r dr d theta, giving, giving us an idea of what kind of bounds we're going to be looking at. Now we just need to understand this region d that's described here. Well, I'm gonna draw what it tells me lies in the polar plane first. That's really gonna become the projection I work from, but r equals cosine theta and r equals two cosine theta. If we needed to, if we weren't familiar enough with polar coordinates, we could convert those to rectangular equations to help us draw those circles. They happen to be two circles whose centers lie on the x-axis. There's this one, r equals cosine theta and then we have r equals 2 cosine theta, which just lies a little further out. Try not drawing this the best I could, and those don't even look like circles, but it gives us a start, and we'll just go with it. All right, so the base lies between there. The top lies in a plane. All right, going back to the original writing, Right, the plane is z equals three minus y. So if I were to think about a z-axis, three minus y would go three units up on the z-axis, and then it's a tilted plane that kind of comes through like this. So I have a purple region coming up like this and getting cut off by a plane that's on that angle there. So I'm going to attempt to draw that region in space not certain how much success I will have, but honestly, this is enough because I know this is the base, and as I travel parallel to the z-axis, my ray would come up starting at zero and then go out through the plane z equals three minus y, which I'll have to write in cylindrical coordinates. But I always like to try to draw these regions. It's a good exercise. So There's my x-axis on both sides of the y-axis. So not to the best scale, but I have a little red circle. I have a little blue circle. I have the region I've shaded in purple, which is going to come up. Every point in there kind of comes up out of that and is going to hit a plane that's slanted. All right, so actually this way. The Z-intercept would be at 3. Y-intercept is also at Three. So the plane I'm looking at reminds me a lot of that line. And so there's where the top of my cylinder would lie in this plane. So the blue circle would come up and hit there. And the red circle like that. And I get all those purple points in between as a solid cylinder with a hole in it. Not the best diagram in the world, but it'll work for our purposes. All right, so I'm setting up a triple integral for some integrand that wasn't given to me, right? This was only about finding the bounds. All right, so dz, r d r d theta. Well, in the z direction, like we talked about, our ray would start in the plane and go up until it hits, excuse me, start in the xy plane, and would go up until it hits this plane. So that would be from 0 to 3 minus y. Well, y is r sine theta, converting that to polar or cylindrical coordinates, whichever you prefer to say right now. All right, r, now I just need this picture, and that is a 
good enough picture for this. So I need to draw a ray in increasing direction of R. I'd start at the pole and I'd hit the red circle then the blue circle. It doesn't matter where I start, I always hit the red and then the blue. So that's from cosine theta to two cosine theta. And now finally I need angles that would draw the whole region and I'm gonna choose pi, minus pi halves all the way up to positive pi halves. And now I've set up a iterated integral that evaluates um, the triple integral I was asked to evaluate to begin with. Now I couldn't help myself and I was curious about evaluating this and I wasn't given an integrand, so I thought to myself, well what if we just let the integrand be one and turn this into a volume problem? Where What's the volume of this weird looking cylinder? And if you're curious like me about what that volume is, Underneath of this video, you'll see in the Moodle course where you found the link to this video if you're taking this course. If you just found this video on uh, YouTube, um, I'll uh, tell you what the volume is in the description of the video. Uh, for everyone else, you can click on the link on our Moodle page and see my evaluation of this integral if the integrand was 1.